Well, hello there, everybody. It is me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I'm back with episode number... What are we on now? Is it seven? We're on episode number seven of Going Medieval. Uh, this is Ravensworth Castle on the Richmond Seed, and um, we left off with a fairly full larder. I'm just going to go down there. And uh, a gate, a gatehouse in progress. So that's what we were working on when we left off. Um, obviously waiting on the uh, barley crop to mature in two days. Um, I'm just going to kick the time forward. So Going Medieval is a community management simulator from uh, Foxy Voxel, produced by the Irregular Corporation. Very much like Dwarf Fortress or Rimworlds. Um, obviously much better graphics than, than either of those. Maybe perhaps a little bit lighter on the systems, but uh, it, it makes up for that in visual fidelity. And I'm just going to reposition myself here. There we go. So... The, gate, the gate's going to have to be done today. And I might, I might actually lay the first course of the, the wall and try to uh, fortify the tower, too. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be hard to do those things just because... It is um, summer now, summer day one, which reminds me, I got to check that everyone's everyone's wearing summer clothes. They're on it. Now, whose job is it to harvest? Someone should be harvesting. Seward's job is to harvest and to grow. We'll set his construction to priority three. Okay, this is good. So Seward will bring in the crops slowly. I really need that apple tree. Uh, those those apple trees out front repositioned too. They're kind of they're kind of spreading in an uh, inopportune way, and they really uh, they really need to be on those four those four squares there. Um, and I'll continue that uh, that pattern here. In place so they're two apart. Yeah. There's a couple more apple trees. Yeah, that's good. So I didn't I didn't play much this weekend. I actually hopped into uh, Conan Exiles, uh, which got an update. Uh, it's a great update. Uh, I definitely am going to do a video uh, probably once I finish this this stream. Um, once this video is uploading, it's very likely that I'll I just hop into Conan Exiles to showcase what I've got going on there. Um, I did try to do some videos from like uh, the beginning of that gameplay, but it's just it's. It's so much of a grind. Um, it, it makes more sense to showcase specific moments in the gameplay as opposed to uh, doing a continuous take like this. Because you know, he, here while I'm, I, you know, I am grinding and harvesting and gathering. That's the gameplay in Conan Exiles. The gameplay is very much like not that. Okay. Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what do I? What do I want to do here? I'm gonna need to get some stone. That's probably priority number one. And they can actually, you know, I don't know why I didn't, but they can actually mine out that interior uh, section there. And that section there. And that section there. Yeah, and might as well mine out that. I don't know if anyone's actually assigned to mining. They're all on uh, mining as their second option. I can probably turn stewarding right off for now. And hauling. There's a conflict between hauling and construction. I can take them all off construction for the moment. Uh, make sure that I've got someone producing food. Should. Yeah, we've got two people cooking. Um, and nobody's researching, so perhaps uh, Yeva wants to leave off hauling and go do researching. That seems about right. To notice, I'm uh, I'm wearing I'm wearing my white for Labor Day. It's Labor Day here in Canada, um, and so I'm off work on a Monday. But uh, if you wear white after Labor Day, it's very very gauche. Apparently, I don't I don't really care. I'm probably gonna wear white after Labor Day too. But. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is me celebrating. I'm going to need to cut these plants, too. I'm going to just send, uh, you know what, Francis can do it right now. Chop, chop, chop. Okay. 
So crop blight is an immediate priority. Obviously, I want to save my barley first. What you got to do is you got to cut those crops immediately. This is why we position things into rows. We might lose a few, but we're not going to lose it all. And I'm way more worried about the barley because that's my winter store um, than I am about the cabbages. I mean, I, I'm going to worry about them both. I really am not concerned about the flax because that's being picked right now. Uh, Wallace, you can start on cutting the cabbage there. You know what? Francis can also prioritize the cabbage too. Basically, everybody panic and freak out right away. Okay. No, Seward, you go back there, and you go back. See, that spread. And we've got some spread here in the... Uh, did we get it in time? That's dark. Looks like we stopped the spread in the barley. And we're going to have to stop the spread in the cabbages. You know, you don't want to wind up like, a, you know, want to wind up with like a potato famine, basically, right? Like, oh, all her crops have failed. What will we eat? Nothing. Nothing is the answer. It could, it could kill a community. And I think I think crop blights become more common. The There's no blight there, right? No, it's just shadow. Crop blades become more common the further into the gameplay seasons you get. Let's stop that from spreading. He's already cutting it anyway. This is all fine now. I think we we dodged a bullet on that one. Just a quick response. Here we go. Nothing's blighted anymore. Okay. That's uh Whew. They're all still working. I need them to bring that linen in. We've got a bunch of linen, but I want all the linen in this season. Speaking of all the linen in, how's my... So the, the storage here is not even close to full. The food storage is getting very full. Just fine. That's good. If the food storage is full, that's very good because then we'll have, you know, there's always going to be stuff rotting and decaying, just like just happened. Cabbages decayed. But, uh, yeah, that, that'll work out in my favor, um, provided Wallace is hauling. Good. All right. We're, we don't have much to do right now. Like, there's not many changes. I think I just need to get through summer. Um, as best as possible. Probably going to get raided again toward the end of the summer. Um, I'm not going to block out any more construction projects. I really wish it was like a super speed time um, so that we could clip through it, but the times three is fine for now, I guess. Seward's... He's, he's replanting the... Let's see. If they harvest on summer day three, because that'll be, yeah, one day, 12 hours, so it'll be evening of summer day three. If you plant before summer day five, you'll get another barley crop before the season ends, so you can get two barley crops in a year. I also need to create more uh, more sleeping space for these folks, right? They're, um, I think they're at the limit of, of beds. I don't, it's really at the limit of bedrooms. Oh, see, there's three, there's three mattresses up here. Only one of those is being used, I think. So I need to make, uh, let's say, sleeping space for two more people. I'll figure that out in a, a bit here. I might put them in the gatehouse, one in each turret, kind of like warders, but... Uh, I might do exactly that, actually. This gatehouse section here isn't really accessible. I could put the entrance through there. Right now, they can only access... It's, it's fine. It's, it's not a big deal. Cabbages are just rotting away on me. Hmm. 
I could start blocking out how much how much uh five limestone bricks. So yeah, I've got enough. I could start blocking out um proper uh I guess I gotta go around it once in regular old limestone, don't I? So I wanna do wood, limestone, and then uh limestone brick. But I can start blocking out some wall sections that are gonna be permanent. It's really, uh, whatever. Just cooking away, that's good. But lots of food being prepared. And it's a balanced, it's a balanced range of foods. Next year we'll have more, we'll have beets and carrots and stuff. I've got collecting beet and carrot seeds and they're not decaying i've also got herb seeds now let me just check if anyone has uh botany 25 so seward can actually plant the herb seeds right now that is fantastic i can't i can't tell you how uh stoked i am to see that i don't know how long it takes the herbs to grow but they'll grow before the end of the season so i've got what 14 And in order to get up to it, I guess, I guess I'm going to have to put a stair up to the that garden tier for now. So Seward's going to do both. There he goes. And we're going to make this a very high priority to plant. I can't, I can't order him to do it, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, so herbs are important for everything. If you want to make, uh, if you want to make beer, um, you need herbs to season the beer. If you want to make uh, fancy meals, you need herbs to season the fancy meals. Uh, if you want to make healing stuff, um, all the healing in this uh, this time period is done with. Basic herbs, you know, you like burn a little sage and rosemary and be like, okay, you should probably survive the cancer now, right? Like, it's very unscientific, but, uh, <laughs> uh, and we've got an herb garden, and that is just fantastic. Um, I could grow them to, to seed, but I'm not going to. Um, so because, because we've cited the herb garden, I'm going to plan around it, um, the layout of the, the keep and hall. So I guess the library is probably going to go here on this corner then. Um, and then the Great Hall will be somewhere in the middle. And on this side, we'll have sleeping quarters. Um, I think those are the, those are really the three. Oh, it was uh, earlier than I thought. So we're being attacked by four archers, three fierce marauders, four marauders. Okay. Two arms, everyone. Two arms. Uh, oh, those guys are tall. <laughs> <laughs> ambiguously very tall um i'm not seeing any good armor in that uh amelia no oh there's the yeah there's one there's one uh ruthless marauder with full plate so how far are they from they're pretty far but we're still gonna we're gonna drum up the drum up the reserves here and get them up on the walls this is probably gonna be the last one of these we have to do before the gate's completed um, I really, I really do need to prioritize that. I keep saying it, but the farming takes so much, so much labor, right? Like, okay. So Francis and Wallace, oops, Francis and Wallace are going to go down to the gate. Put our good archers far forward as we can, and our bad archers to the back. Here they come. They just missed like every shot. Okay, they're really not doing very well. So we got an archer there. Tudhelm needs to die first.
Why are my archers shit suddenly? Okay. Enemy is going to break my, my doors there. Hits. Here we go. So you basically have to eliminate your enemy's ability to strike your characters on the wall before you... Uh... Okay. I'm actually going to shoot Jeffrey because he's got the good armor. Was, uh, was uh, the, the devs put up a, a post for this game uh, earlier today, and quite excitingly, um, they're they're uh, adding new mechanics for villagers carrying uh, food for themselves. They have like a little belt pouch um, that they'll carry around for the day. Um, oops, no, everyone stay up there, please. But uh, and then they'll like put their food in the belt pouch, and, and it can decay in the pouch, and it, it's uh, just an advanced system in like how they feed themselves. But uh, they've also announced we're going to get new trees. Why can no one hit these guys now? Barbican's still in the way. I'm going to have to rethink this whole design here. I move the Barbican back. Boy. It's okay, we'll route them. Of course, every time you kill a bunch of enemies, it means more hauling. That's the downside, right? Like, you gotta wait for everyone to bring in all the armor and gear and stuff that got dropped. Kill Henry next. Ooh, and Ace can use a Warbow now. Because, yeah, once they get up here, everyone can shoot them. Something's changed with how these archers are... Maybe not. Maybe I'm just... Uh... Okay, we lost a reinforced door and a graded door. See if we can get this kill. Just missing him. Everyone's missing him. He's hobbling away and they can't hit him. It's a little frustrating. It's a lot of misses from these archers. Alright, whatever. Oh! <laughs> Someone got him on the last shot there. <laughs> I was like, whatever, and somebody actually connect. Uh, it's just how it goes sometimes. All right, so we're gonna have to rebuild those damn doors. Um, not really a way around that. Stupid, stupid, wasteful. <sighs> like I said, I want to move that barbican, but I guess we're not gonna get that option. Backwards, I think. Whatever. Okay. No research available. What do I? Oh, uh, yeah. I've got. Uh, I was. Someone was researching, of course. So, fletching too. This is pretty important. Cartography is pretty important too. If you want to know who else is around you. Um, defensive structures, traps are. Traps are going to be a factor in my design, but. Okay, we'll take Fletching, too. And I forget, did I actually set a uh, an archery 
No, I didn't. Of course I didn't. I think I, I think I went to do that in the last episode and forgot or something happened. Uh, okay, we're going to put the bowyer's table in that corner. We're going to put the woodworker's table there. And... Weapon racks. That's about all I need in there, eh? Because I can move the tailor's workshop over there. That that ground floor isn't doing anything. And hmm. Hmm, I'll think about it. No rush. We do need to put braziers in these rooms though, so that uh in the winter they are tempered. I don't really care if they're lit, but I care if they're warm for the Holy cow. Got a little bit of fermenting mead going on. We're going to be we're going to be just just sloshed all winter. That's great. Oh, and the harvest is coming in. Okay. So everybody else is going to have to get off uh whatever they're doing and we're going to prioritize hauling except for Seward who is the one harvesting. Oh, we want you to stay doing that. Everybody else all. Yeah, and so he's also replanting. That's good. He's harvesting and replanting. What's his actual priority in that? Grow is secondary. Good. Dog arrived. So somebody somebody in the comments said that you gotta tame the dog first. You gotta prioritize the dog for taming, tame it, and then assign it a master, and then it'll come inside your castle and hang out and eat your food. Um, so if you have too many pets, they'll eat all your food. It's more or less what I'd expected. I'm um, a little bit disappointed that the dog th doesn't have the ability to be assigned to an area before you tame it. You have to, like, go tame it in the wild, even though it's, like, technically already domesticated. Um, it's, like, hanging around your camp, but it won't, it won't like, enter your camp unless you um, make it something that you can give orders to. And, and someone just passed out. Elmer just passed out? No. Okay, we're good. Those are unconscious. Yeah, Elmer's down for the count. I wonder why. He's just exhausted. And seeing these dead bodies isn't helping them. Yes. Over time, you got to expand your junk pile. Animals are hungry. All my animals are starving. But I should have a shit ton of hay. No one's hauling the hay. Oh my god. Fuck. Wallace had a little freak out and wouldn't touch the hay. Okay, the animals are fed. Crisis of hurt. Look at them all. Just mow down on that hay. Okay, I need I need these guys to get some sleep before I uh before I do anything else. It's just, see, the gameplay loop is starting to get a little bit difficult now. It's like, yeah, I am playing on a hard difficulty, but it, it will require a lot of micromanagement. Elmer just will not be okay anymore. He's like beside his bed. Okay, let's go to bed now. Okay. Wallace is binge eating and storming around. I tell you. Oh, 
not much I can do. I'm just gonna, just gonna wait for them to halt, and get around to the crops. Again, I really wish that they would. Uh, I really wish that they would prioritize the uh, f food, the stuff that goes bad. But I can't really. I can't really make them. I, mean, I could select each individual pile, but it's okay. Nothing's close to decay. And as soon as that barley hits the shelf, it'll be fine for the season. Just uh, get it together, guys. Come on. Okay. So I need uh, Seward to not harvest, but I need him to grow urgently. He's got a garden. Can anyone else grow? Yeah, Christian's got to grow. And we'll take them off hauling. So I actually need to get the second barley crop down, uh, or we won't have a harvest by... Because it's winter day 10, and it, it, if it doesn't happen today, by winter day 11, it just gets too cold. Or by a fall day 11, it gets too cold. So Christian and Seward just need to plant one more barley crop for the year while everybody falls. Boy, they're picking anything but the hay and the, the barley, eh? They're like... Going over here to get to place bodies in the stockpile and burning bodies in the courtyard and that's whatever. What stockpile is this? This is material. Is this sticks? Sticks. Okay. I don't think I'm going to get uh, work done on that gate until fall starts. Probably toward the end of this episode, I'll be sending people to mine again. But for right now, they just gotta they just gotta do what they're doing. I also need them to mine this too, so they can get uh, more stone. All right, someone's hauling food now. There we go. Barley's been replanted, ish. Okay, and I'm also going to set, uh, do I have clay? I've got clay. So I'm going to set a granary now. Uh, granary size, you want to make it uh, 7 by uh, 5, 2, 3, yeah, 7 by 5. So it's really 7 by 7, right? And I would, I would make it uh, 2... Two units tall to start, maybe three units tall to start. And you're not going to use it to store um, you're not going to use it to store anything but hay. It's not it's not food storage, so you don't have to worry about refrigeration. Um, but you need a place to stockpile all your uh, animal feed. So, you know, I'm going to make it three units tall. And we'll put a thatched roof on it to start. Well, we're going to put a thatched roof on it. It's not to start, we're putting a thatched roof on it. This is a silo, right? Like a farm silo uh, for vertical grain storage. And then inside, I'm going to go down a couple of floors here. We're going to need uh, stairs. So the reason you make it uh, five. 5x5 five five interior, 7x7 seven seven exterior is because that's the size needed to accommodate stairs while still leaving space for storage. I guess that's the top floor. Right, okay. Cool. Um... I still need to haul. It's fine. It's not decaying in the in the least. We don't have any barley left on the stockpile at all. So it's, it's all in the field there. Oh, someone's clothes just broke. Christian's summer clothes just broke. No, Christian's hat just broke. His helmet. Uh, that's 
That's going to happen. That's fine. Okay. Someone's replanted the apple trees. Um, that's good. Eventually, this will be a nice little orchard right out front of the gate. The berries are coming in for the season. This is the summer day six? Yeah, so like by, by the end of summer, that's when you want to do your, the majority of your uh, like seasonal uh, harvesting. Like I said, that last barley crop can be brought in like literally right before winter. Um, and I think barley will grow. I don't, I don't know what its temperature uh, limit is. Uh, doesn't say. It doesn't say, but if you compare it to... Uh, oh, maybe it's not there. Maybe it's under. I thought it said a temperature. Really thought it said a temperature. There we go. Minimum so temperature is five degrees for the, uh, for the cabbage, but oh, barley is the same. Uh, barley's the same. So for some reason, I seem to remember them uh, be, being able to... I guess that's the sow temperature, not the grow temperature. I remember them being able to grow or to harvest barley late in the season. We'll see. We'll see. Um, probably in the next episode when we get there. But we're also just clipping through summer, so who knows? This is uh, this year's going quick. I'm going to assign those... things in the berries here. Okay, that's enough for the for the year, I think. What are they hauling? Let's see what Wallace does. Does he go get what I want him to? Yeah, okay, good. Now they're on the, the barley. So they'll clean that field out in this day. I'm just gonna kind of stand here and uh oh yeah I, I i'm standing i'm not sitting um sometimes i sometimes i sit but often for the purposes of doing these videos uh, i pop up the standing desk and uh you know keeps me a little keeps me a little more active but also it's, it's frankly more comfortable than sitting like sitting is hell on the human body um i i spend much of my day sitting in a in a truck so <laughs> just driving around picking up and dropping off heavy stuff um you know, I'm a landscaper, so, but when I'm not, when I'm not, uh, when I'm not working, um, sitting around can sometimes, uh, you know, feel a lot like, like I'm sitting there in the truck all day, so. They're still taking their sweet time about it, though. Might take another whole day to get this crop in. You really got to keep to a minimum. I think I said in the last episode, you got to keep to a minimum the number of things in the hull queue. Like I haven't, I haven't harvested the cabbages yet because I, I just know that that's going to get mixed up. But we'll get there right after this. In fact, I can probably take these. Mm, I'll let them plant these last two rows. No, I won't. No, I won't. That's fine. Um, it's not going to grow anyway. We had a really diverse range of foodstuffs now, um, and 50 fermenting mead on the... Oh, that's what they were hauling when I was wondering what they were doing in the building. They were uh, moving mead onto some of the stockpiles. Not all of them. In fact, no stockpile set for this resource type. That's not true. This should be set to stimulants. Oh, fermenting ingredients. Oh, oh, look at me. Look at me being smart here. You could actually set the... 
I'm like, why are they not filing my piles? Because... And I can set up a separate one for cheese, too. And actually, like, put a buttery in. That's cool. I, yeah, all right. Animals have feed. I'm going to need to make, uh, once I bring the cabbages in, I'm going to need to make proper animal feed. The hay can stay in the field for now. I don't think it decays at all. Hay is great. Hay is great for animals. Although, you know what's even greater for animals? Um, like um, pollarded, uh, pollarded uh, branches, you can, you can feed livestock on sticks basically on like the the tender new growth on tree branches i didn't know this um but they would go through and they would cut as many new branches as they could and then those new branches that they cut would branch out into more new branches so you'd come through um once or twice a year uh and you'd be able to create like a a selection of uh animal feed from tree branches that's not something everybody knows that like cows um you know other other ungulates cloven hooped animals would go through undergrowth and eat low hanging branches um but they can drive a substantial amount of nutrition from those so that's neat it's not in this game but that's neat anyway could be in this game pollarding think about it foxy voxel I feel like I've got this backwards, but like mining in the mining in the winter, I guess it's the the activity, right? Like, so long as it's not taking you deep underground where it's freezing cold for your characters. And I, uh, it is it is actually in the real world quite cold underground um, in the winter. I worked at the bottom of a sixty meter pit for uh, one winter. Um, it's a water treatment plant, waist deep in water and hip waders, and the water would never freeze because it was always being pumped. So. The ice would just build up on everything, including you and your hip waders. And like there were there were like electrical cables in the water. It was like that was like that was a weird it was a weird job. Um someone dropped a hammer on me and I quit. <laughs> it fell down 60 meters and hit my hand. Uh and it hurt. Didn't didn't break my hand, but it hurt a lot. And I, you know, I just climbed the stairs up and I left. And the corporate lawyers called me and they were like, Are you, are you okay? Like <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I just died. I don't, don't want to do that anymore. So I went to university instead. It's like <laughs> Uh, and the cold was maddening. I think I burned my lunch that day too. It was just like one thing after the other, but, uh, the hammer was the final straw or the final hammer, I guess. Speaking of straw haul guys, haul, they're hauling cabbages now. Go figure. Look, I said, if I have them pick the cabbages, they'll haul the cabbages, but one, one more day of hauling, I think summer day seven. Okay. Let's see where it hits. Could be really bad. I've had it, I've had it kill characters before. I think we're okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Lightning is striking far away. Boom! Big hit on the library there. Destroyed a uh, bookshelf and damaged the hell out of that bed. But that could have been worse. That could have been way worse. Um, this is why you build roofs on things. But also, like, I lost a little research to that. And we need to replace that floor tile, I guess. I don't think that, that broke due to the storm. I think that just broke. Okay. Wait. I don't want to put a limestone block floor in that corner. No, sir. I want to put a limestone floor. Okay.
<sighs> so now we're going to produce animal feed for the winter. Um, and we'll do that in the kitchen. And we'll make sure it doesn't use the barley. And we'll pause the production. And we'll increase the priority of the animal feed. And then we'll assign someone to cook. And take her off hauling. And now because I'm... We'll start to shift those uh, uh, troughs over to animal feed. Uh, we'll leave one with hay in it just, you know, in case there's a delay and the animals wind up without feed for a day. Um, we'll leave them some hay, but I am going to need to create a different animal pen. Um, so if we, you know, if we get a cow or cows uh, or sheep or sheep, um, we, uh, sheeps, sheep, if we get sheep, uh, we will need to store them separately, feed them separately, treat them separately because I might as well put the goats out to pasture too. Like, there's no reason the goats have to be in the center courtyard. Just early on, it was accessibility, but raiders won't show up and kill your animals. At least not yet. There's no interaction between uh, livestock and raiders. Mm. Well, they brought in some stone too, so theoretically, someone could finish that the gate wall anyway. But no one's on construction. Elmer's going to get a body for the the pyre. Yeah, it looks like they're they're making some changes to the the how uh, community members eat business. Um, that's good, right? See, he's like a, like I said, he's just mad, sewards in there mashing his mashing his food in the, the stockpile. Um, it would be, you know, better for him to go find a place to sit down. Not, I don't think that I have a table, do I? There's no there's no place for my people to sit down. I just realized that I completely forgot to give them a dining room. Oh oh boy, why is that? Oh, trees? Damn. Uh, or the next attack is going to go right through the... Okay. As soon as they're done hauling, I'm going to put them on chopping. As soon as they're done chopping, I'm going to put them on building. This is the order operations. But it, it's going to still be one more full day of hauling, which is unavoidable, really, unless I want to waste food. Also, that food stockpile has got to be getting pretty full. Let me take a look at it. There's, there's space. Barely, but there's space. That should not have seeds on it. Neither should that. I missed a few of my last pass. That's better. This room just needs to be full of cloth and saplings. And my raw meat went bad. It's okay. We've got oh, merchants are here. We got no shortage of meat. We gathered some berries. That's good. Some mushrooms. Here comes the merchants. Entourage. <sighs> At some point, I'm going to have to neglect, deliberately neglect a critical task in order to get building done. There's just there's too many things to do. We've still got too few settlers. I could I could do with another five settlers, um, but I guess I guess we need beds for them. And we won't get beds for them until uh, until there is uh, building done. <laughs> it's kind of catch twenty two. Can't have can't do the building until I get more people. Can't get more people. 
Um, really can't can't accommodate them until I get the building done. Let's go talk to the merchant who seems to be selling uh, all the good stuff. No, I gave you an order. Okay. Uh, cabbage seeds, carrot seeds, black seeds. It's a nice block. That's cool. Don't want the junk. I don't need the limestone brick right now. Don't need the raw meat, really. Okay. And what do I have to sell? Go down the list of things in my inventory. Gold. Lots of gold. We're just we're just trading gold for uh, for stuff. So Elmer, I want you to prioritize hauling that ice block to basement. Look at that. Okay, so now the temperature in this room should be lower. Yeah, it's coming down a little bit. 4.9 inside. A couple, a couple ice blocks would make this room like a fridge. We're going to do that this winter. In fact, I'm going to proactively learn that. And I'm going to look at clay brick making. Something going weird if we're not learning. Ooh, that got damaged by the lightning strike, too. Hmm. Yeah, something's weird if we're not uh, learning. Uh, whatever. It, it's okay. Um, but we, we need to get uh, textbooks as well. So that I can... Uh... What's this food doing? It's starting to decay. So I'll see what they go to do when the sun comes up in two hours. We have so much food though now. At least uh, so much. Does no one make an animal feed? Production idle. Why isn't my cook doing it? Active production paused. No it's not, is it? Active production paused. Why can't this one at the top of the queue be the active production? Why do I have to delete that in order for her to do it? I don't understand that. That That's a bug. Whatever. Because, yeah, I mean, we don't we don't need all these vegetables to eat. Where is sewer? No. No, we're going to... You stop harvesting now, and you get on hauling too, bro. And you stop researching now. And we just need all the food. As soon as the food is in, they're all on. Uh, they're all on shopping. That's that's pretty good. It's gonna be what cut plants. All right. So these are all the, the plants, the trees that I planted, right? So they'll go out and they'll cull. Um, it's kind of, kind of like coppicing, right? They'll, they'll, they'll go out and they'll cull. Coppicing being different from pollarding is the um, 
chopping of whole trees, but the leaving of stumps so that something regrows. Okay, once they've chopped their way around there, I'm just gonna... It's pretty good. So now we're gonna take them off that, and we're gonna put them all on mining one. It's not a lot of wood, but it's certainly enough to finish the projects we've got. Perfect. Good, and animal feed is uh, getting deposited now. Like the slop, they just eat less slop, right? Like they eat way more hay. You tend to go through the hay faster. You'll run out before uh, spring, but animal feed keeps for a long time. And they eat less of it per, per day. But it takes some vegetables, which is fine if you have extra vegetables. Like, if you were just going to cook them anyway. I have so much hay still not brought in. We're going to need, because that, that my hay stockpile is full, we're going to need to build this uh, granary or a silo. Silo. And tomorrow is the building day. Tomorrow, everyone in the community is just going to get up and go build some stuff because we've we've managed to uh free up enough stone to finish the front gate and um enough other materials to finish the silo and the silo can still be destroyed by uh you know i'm gonna actually make the silo aesthetically pleasing the silo can still be destroyed by uh catapult fire like if the trebuchet hits a clay building it's toast it's the lowest health structure in the game but uh I don't care. It's uh, easy come, easy go. It's super cheap to rebuild, right? There we go. And just for... Change the shape of roofs using these options. So now everyone comes off of mining and on to construction. With NA still just cooking. We'll do our research in the winter. I like I don't I don't see a reason to rush research right now. I need those I need the gate repaired. I need the stonework finished. Priorities, right? And we didn't replant cabbages, but even though we'd get another crop this season, I have I have enough cabbages. There's no we did replant flax. That's interesting. Oh, they're they're doing the repairs in the building that got struck by lightning, because that makes sense. How long are these herbs down for? Herbs are up in one day. Yeah, so herbs herbs come quickly. That's good. We might make some beer this winter. Okay, uh, I want to slow this down a little bit, but I'm deleting all the parts of the barbican here. That we're providing more cover than I'd intended.
going to try to do this in a hurry. Yeah, that's okay. I'm not in a rush to build the limestone block, that's for sure. Probably going to wait for the first trebuchet attack to begin that process of upgrading to, like, hardened materials. If you're wondering why this looks so ugly, it's because all the pieces can be turned and repositioned afterwards. My dog? Yeah, the dog was hanging around inside the doors there. Alright, and they're working away on the granary now. Good. Probably delete that uh, fence section. So lots of stone left. This section's gonna have to get up, up uh, upgraded too. Same for this part here. In fact, now may be the time to do all that. Torches are kind of in my way there, but. Well, they're not. Those torches are. Don't need wood floor there. Ooh, why are those there? Those shouldn't be there. Must have dragged too far, yeah. This can't be connected? Not really. It needs a beam on one of these levels. 
I just put the beam right across the back of the tower, right? Like put it through the middle there on that on that axis because the yeah closest to the wall I think is going to be uh, stairs up. There's already some wooden stairs going up, so I'm not I'm not worried about that right now. Now they got to go get the stone from over here. Okay, that means we're running low, but I think we've still got enough to finish this project. Or close to. Lone Traveler selling stuff. Great. Waste a couple points here just for aesthetic reasons. We'll make uh, some linen banners. How much iron do I have? Loads. Okay, and we're out of uh, we're out of stone for right now. So everybody comes back off and goes on a mining. top braziers and stuff oh yeah that looks that looks great oh we got a merchant here though i'm gonna slow time down and uh, make sure that they get bartered with what are they selling ah beet seeds cabbage seeds flax seeds no ice blocks don't need roasted meat don't really want the rough wine that's it. All right, so let's talk on a piece of gold or two. Yeah, that's fine, whatever. Hmm. I also, I got uh, kilns. So if there's a place I could put a kiln or two in this layout here, that would make sense. This corner makes the most sense, but I'm going to need to move the bench there. It's fine. I got no sticks there anyway. Instructions going okay over here. No floors or stairs yet, but it'll get built. We just want to get this gatehouse done. That's uh, or at least the the the, the gate the gatehouse uh, towers done in limestone.
There's certainly other things I'm supposed to be doing. Um, oh, we cooked through all the cabbage, which means we should have a metric fuck ton of animal feed there. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. All that animal feed. Uh, boy. We're going to have to stow that. Um, hmm. Okay, we're good on mining. I have them finish the building now. So the only reason I'm building up these walls is because if a trebuchet were to spawn over here, it could lop stones in and, and hit things in the courtyard. So your walls your walls need to be the same height as anything you want to protect. Gates aren't done yet. Ooh, I missed a, a hole in the wall there. <laughs> Alright, that's better. And I'm going to let it run for one more day into autumn day one. Where, you know, fundamentally nothing's going to change. But... I want to get the uh, the construction done here, and I'm I'm gonna uh, slow time down just 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 a bit as I, uh, you know, actually I'll speed it up. It's nighttime anyway. As I fix the individual uh, uh, crenellation and maculation uh, orientation, crenellation and maculation orientation. There's a mouthful. Okay. Uh, It doesn't make any fundamental difference at all on gameplay, which which way the individual uh, crenelated, crenelated bits are oriented. Um, yeah, there's another name for these too. Um, they're crenelation, modulation. They're also merlons. Um, the individual uh, teeth of a crenelation are called merlons. In limestone merlon. Uh... That'll look nice, I think. It's not perfectly even, like each tower um is a bit wider on the inside than it is on the outside. That's fine. Um and it'll it'll look it'll look much better when it's got that final course of uh Ashlar facing on the outside, but uh still got some stone left. I think we'll finish this job. And fall has arrived. So we actually have a pretty good... Uh, do we or did, did it all get eaten? What the hell? Wow, our, our larder's getting empty again ahead of winter. 
Um, probably because I cooked everything into uh, animal feed, which is just fine. Um, we will have barley, so we're, we're going to need to make a bunch of bread on the next, uh, the next video here. And finish the silo. That won't, that won't take long. He just, in fact, he's working on the flooring right now. We still have stone, so I don't know why they slowed down so much. Okay, I've got about uh, six minutes over what I normally would do, so... Um, with the, uh... The idea that the gatehouse is relatively complete now, um, and with the knowledge that I'm going to have to uh, bake a bunch of bread uh, ahead of the winter, and we'll, we'll, we'll run the winter on bread and meat, because apparently my my people uh, cooked and ate their way through a lot of our stored food, like all my berry pies went. Not to say we can't get more. Um, so yeah, next next episode will be a lot of uh, harvesting and preparation for winter, um, which, you know, I'm just going to do myself a favor right now and make sure everybody uh, gets their winters on. And because I just gave them that order and they all just dropped their clothes, here's a, a final, final parting tip. See the clothes are here on the ground? Summer clothes. So if you zoom out and you double click on the summer clothes, shows you all the summer clothes and then you just need to allow it and when you tell them to haul they will haul the clothes in but yeah that's it that's all for me for now this is postmodern cowboy playing going medieval a community management sim from foxy voxel uh, produced by the irregular corporation uh, if you like watching me play games if you want to play some other games with me like conan exiles which i'm gonna go play now uh let me know down in the comments let me know what you think in general thanks so much for watching keep it peaceful out there